We have some breaking news right now in Orange County. A car slams into a house. Yeah, this is in Seal Beach. Let's go to Desmond Ooh. Shaw live in SkyCal. Quite a response to this, Des. Wow. Yeah, Jeff and Susie, huge response here. 304 College Park Drive in Seal Beach here. A vehicle in a small residential street. Looks like around a turn here. Went right up into the driveway and slammed into the garage right here. Uh, last we had heard was that the driver of the vehicle was trapped inside. No word about any other injuries, but you can see that car went pretty deep in there. And so they may still be trying to get the driver out of the vehicle here. There is some concern that uh, it may have done some structural damage to the home as well. Uh, you see the stretcher here. Here. They are waiting, and so it really does look like they're still trying to get that driver uh, out of this vehicle right now. Pretty scary situation uh, here in Seal Beach with uh, someone trapped inside. Jeff and Susie, back to you in the studio. Yeah, does have a question here? Uh, we know obviously somebody was inside the car. Mm -hmm. uh, do we know anybody inside the house? And if they were there, anybody injured? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about anyone else being injured in this one. You know, hopefully uh, no one was sitting tinkering in, in their garage or yeah. anything like that. It does look like that is the garage that it went inside. But as we uh, double in here, you can uh, just see it looks like you know, the, the vehicle ran into a lot of stuff here. And uh, this looks like an older car, maybe a classic car here that they're having to uh, try to pry apart to uh, potentially get somebody out. I mean, look at the, the huge damage here uh, to the stucco on the uh, right side of the garage as well. Yeah, it definitely looks like from the firefighters' stance tonight that they are indeed trying to get someone out of this car. We're going to stay on this and uh, keep you updated here on KCAL News. Again, a car slams into a house in Seal Beach tonight, yeah. and firefighters working very hard to get this person out. We do believe there is one person in there right now. That is an old car. You wonder if maybe there was something mechanically wrong mm -hmm. with that older vehicle. Uh, Des, if you don't mind, I would love to be able to see how this might have happened. If you could pan out and show us, you had mentioned a curve. Mm. Uh, can you give us an idea as to how that car got into that house at a weird angle? I guess there is kind of a curve there, just went right into yeah. it, huh? Yeah, yeah, it looks like now this is a residential street here. You saw the speed limit sign, 25 miles an hour, and it looks like it might have just lost control as they took that turn and came right up the driveway, right by that speed limit sign, and then right into the garage here at kind of a weird angle as well. So, might have run into, you know, a lot of folks use their garages to store stuff, so might have plowed to quite a few things here and uh, really just did a number on this garage, and they're really having a, a tough time having to move a lot of stuff out of the way. Uh, here you can see having to move some heavy equipment here, some heavy rescue equipment, it looks like, as they uh, still uh, attempt to get someone out of this vehicle. All right, Desmond, we're going to take a quick break and uh, check back in with you and some new information from Mike Rogers on the desk as well.